welcome back in this lecture so now in this lecture what we're going to do we have to have some chromatic aberration all right so it is very, very easy that we need to have some shuffle here so i need to have three shuffles so that you know we need to segregate each layer each channel rather not layers so we have this alt and p to have i can double click on this now what i need i need only the rate channel so i can put this thing off you can see we have this rate channel and we can have this green channel and we can have the blue channel so zero zero means nothing is there so we have only um, that channel so we have this and press m key and make it plus so now we have exactly the same thing and you can see we have the same thing but if i press t key in the mid, um, between of this 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 is a green thing we have here so this is also very you know you may think that what should i do i should use this or this so i can have 0.5 in here and i can see i have very nicer result in here if i if i do so and if i use this you can see we have something like that and put it here we have something like this also so totally up to you that what you're going to do so it should not be in three it should be in uh, two or one you can see we have really nice chromatic operation kind of thing so it has to be very very pixel uh, kind of thing it should not be have uh, much impact in it you can see it's looking really nice or you can have here and delete it and i can see we have something like this so this is also nice you can see here and blue so what i find in this situation this is looking cool you can see we have something like this all right so this is everywhere you can see so you know this is all also a little bit of cheating kind of thing that uh, chromatic aberration takes place is only the corners right here you can see we have this thing but i have put it everywhere so you know we have to do some cheating also because of this is a vfx kind of thing all right all right so this is how you can make something like this uh this chromatic aberration and you can find lots of cool uh you know this uh, gizmo kind of thing also is there but i have showed you that how we are going to make this happen by using these techniques so hope you have liked it and see you in the next lecture